doing there, boy? What you doing? Morning to you. It is a good morning as he just turns into a board. You're very good at playing statue on camera. Very good. It's another new day. Good day. It is a good day. Look at it. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day to be in Alberta. Hello, friend. One other one. Hello to you, too. Fine, don't say hi. Whatever. Not gonna ruin my day. So we just unloaded our uh, delivery that we had to unload this morning. Uh, here in Wainwright, Alberta. What's rattling over here? Driving me nuts. Stop that. Stop that. You guys have that, too? I can't stand rattling. So sometimes I'll, like, idle up the truck, but then it still rattles. What's rattling over here? Where are you? Fine. That always fixes it, just shut it off. No more rattling. So from here we're going to Sherwood Park, which is part of Edmonton, Alberta. And then uh, we got a drop there, like four boxes. <whistles> All the way from North Carolina for four boxes. And we got 111 boxes going to another place in Edmonton. They won't unload me till middle of the night. So I'm gonna go drop my trailer there and uh, go pick it up tomorrow morning and then head up to Grand Prairie. Which reminds me, I have to call that customer yet. And let them know that it's uh, gonna be later than we expected because of Edmonton not wanting to unload me during the daylight like normal people. They wanna, they're, well, it depends what you define as normal. Maybe they're nocturnal. Maybe they just like to work at night. I don't know, but they only want to unload between 1 and 7 a.m., so that's okay. That's their choice. It uh, messes with our schedule a lot, but, oh well. Customer wants, customer gets. Absolutely. All right, Teasel, you got anything to add? Nothing. All right, guys, I'm going to clean the bugs off the windshield here right now, just so you guys can see out that camera. And then we'll hit the road. Well, just left Wainwright on the two lane roads that lead us to Edmonton. I could have gone up to the 16 and taken the big four lane Trans Canada, but shorter this way and more scenic, seeing as we're not in a very big rush. That guy's got a flag post in his yard. I'm thinking I want a flag in my yard. Flag post, maybe a couple. What do you guys think of that? Is that lame when people have flag posts in their yard? I think it'd be pretty cool. I have a big Canada flag right in the middle of my front yard. Maybe I'll have three flags. Maybe I'll have the Canada flag, and the US flag, and the Manitoba flag. Is that too many flags? Do I just look tacky then? What do you guys think? Do you guys have flags in your yard? Look at this scenery, eh? Going through a little valley here in Alberta. I don't know what this valley's called or if it has a name or not, but this is a really sharp corner and they should have warned me about it. What's really gonna happen today, guys? Not very much driving. We have two hours of driving to do, that's it. Then we'll be in Edmonton. And I guess we'll be doing a little bit of running around during the day. Gotta go drop this trailer off. Gotta drop these four cases off. And it should be an all right day. Whoa! Of course, we can't build a bridge connection that is actually smooth. That'd be nice. <laughs> a little rest area down here, look at that. No trucks allowed, go figure. Why do you build a rest area if you're not gonna let trucks in there? We're the ones that need a rest. Well, I've seen a couple pilot cars go by. That means there's a mighty big load coming through here soon. This guy's getting on the shoulder already. Here comes another pilot car. You guys ready for this? Well, that's a load. Whew. And a 
truck pushing it. Nice. That guy's the boss. Sorry, my dash is vibrating here, shaking. I don't know what's vibrating. Sorry about that, but what do you guys think of that load? That's some Alberta heavy haul for you. All right, so we're in Edmonton City. There's downtown way on the horizon out there. Just dropped off uh, our four boxes. Now we're gonna go uh, find a place to park. Probably at the Flying J. And then find out what uh, I have to do with this trailer. I have to drop it off somewhere, but uh, dispatch is gonna update me soon. Where to go, what to do, who to talk to. All that kind of stuff. This guy's from Manitoba. Nice. Well, Diesel. It's been a bit of a pricey day again. It's been a bad month. So what can you do? Next month will be better. You would hope. Diesel, you're staying in there. Where do you think you're going? You stay. I just walked you. Just walked you. Hmm? Huh? Stay. Watch your paw. Come on, I want to go again. So, the first thing that went wrong was my interior fan uh, that blows the air conditioning conked out on me. So, I went to Freightliner here, bought me a new fan, installed it myself save some money and labor there but another thing that I noticed was wrong on this truck today was I had a leaky airbag back here now there's two of these airbags here right you got this one here and you got that one over there so this whole cab rides on air right it's all sitting on these two airbags and this one had a leak in it and that I can't replace myself not on the road I don't have the tools for that so the good people here at Freightliner took care of me and uh, got that. Did you know labor here at Freightliner is $160 an hour? I should have been a mechanic, I'll tell you what. So hopefully nothing else serious goes wrong this month. Slowly we're replacing parts. You know, it's an old truck. Can't complain about that, it's expected, right? I gotta get these tires replaced. I did go and inquire about some tires today. Uh, but I was at Fountain Tire, and Fountain Tire wanted to sell me uh, eight Kelly tires, which are sort of a knockoff brand of Goodyear, sort of like the not as good as Goodyear. So they're owned by Goodyear, but they're not nearly as good. $2,000 cheaper for the eight, but not worth it, so I didn't go with those. And they wanted to charge me $6,000 for eight Goodyear drives. Are you kidding me? No. So we're going back home. We'll find a better deal than that. We'll see if we can get some Michelins. The ones I got on here are 11R, 22.5, XZA3. Michelin. So I'll just wait for a better deal. I don't want to spend so much money in one day. It only took him an hour to uh, change that airbag out, right? But. I probably saved at least a half hour of labor for doing that interior fan myself, so yeah. And you see it works. Turn the key on. And she comes to life. I fixed it myself. So now it is quarter to five here. We gotta drop this trailer off at eight o'clock. So it kind of worked out again today. It always seems to work out good. Worked out that I found all these things that needed to be replaced on a day when I had time to get it replaced, right? There's a guy sitting over there staring at me in a pickup truck. I guess we'll get moving, guys, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Sitting there staring at me. I don't know what he wants. I'm gonna move, though. Flying J, Flying J. This is actually Edmonton Truckland, I think. 
I got the shop here and whatnot, truck wash, and I can get my camera to focus on what's behind the window, not the bugs on the window. Why does it always do that? It bugs me. There you go. This is actually, this is actually the place where I met Shelly when she was out here. Uh, she's the one who sent me that uh, polar bear license plate. Yeah. But today, oh, it's just been running around trying to get everything fixed. Trying to get everything fixed. I thought I'd have the day off. No, Trucker Josh, you're an owner operator. You don't get days off. Forgot. So now at least we've got a few things fixed. They just keep popping up, but that's trucking. Things just keep popping up. You just fix them and you move on. Eventually you fix everything and then you start from the beginning again and you fix it all over again. That's what I've heard it's all about. Good thing I really like this job, you know? Good thing I really like this job, or it might get me a little down having all these maintenance issues all the time. But, oh well. Oh well, it's all part of the game. I sort of like it. I don't know. I feel good about getting something fixed that was broken. You know, I told you that before. Huh? See how long we can get this truck to go yet. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Daisy. Maybe we'll get a new truck one day. Yeah. More space for me and you. What I would like, just to be different, is I would like to get a Freightliner Argosy. That's the Freightliner cab over. Full 244 inch wheelbase, as long as you can get in Canada. Get a little motorcycle garage for the back there so I can take my bike with me. I don't know. I don't know, because everyone, even if you don't like cab overs, you see a cab over and you're like, hey, that's a cab over. Look at that. Doesn't matter whether you like it or not, you notice it. Unless if you're in Europe or uh, Australia or any other part of the world where cab overs are commonplace and then you guys get more attention if you show up in like a Kenworth W9 or something, then everybody's like, woo. Out here it's just like, oh, I saw 50 of them today. Not as special. We'll see. So I know we didn't get a lot of driving done today, guys. Not a lot of driving footage. I know a lot of you like that driving footage. Don't worry. I remember that. I remember that. When we do start driving again, I'll put the camera on again. Don't worry. Until then, Diesel, you got food? Good boy. Now I'm going to go get food. I need to do a Walmart run to uh, stock my fridge and whatnot, but... I know I treated myself to dinner the other day at the restaurant. I'm gonna treat myself one more time. Why not? Spend enough money today, might as well go spend a little more and eat. I haven't eaten today yet. <laughs> it's sun's almost, it's like the afternoon. What is, what is it? It's like five o'clock here now. I've had like two granola bars. I'm hungry. All right, so we dropped our trailer at that customer now and we're headed to Flying J on the other side of the city. <laughs> There was a Flying J closer, but that Flying J doesn't provide Wi-Fi internet. And I haven't had Wi-Fi for three nights already, so I need some Wi-Fi tonight. So we're going to Flying J on the east side of Edmonton. It's about 15 minutes further away. 15 minutes further in the morning. But it's a better Flying J. They got clean showers. There's a Timmy's right next door. Diesel is so fascinated when we pass people when the windows open he realizes that there's other people in these moving pieces of metal beside us and he's just hey there's people in there man did you know that <laughs> he's just pumped he just wants to get beside this silver truck here right now so he can stare at the people inside <laughs> Diesel is rude to stare. <laughs> oh, Diesel. Diesel, Diesel. What a day. Day of running around doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Spending money. You wanna pee on that post, Diesel? Hmm? Go for it, man, give her. It's all yours. It's all yours, man, go. No, not that one? No, it's not good enough, apparently. Okay, well, I'm going on to the next one. No post for a while, man, now's your chance. I would rather just have grass, okay, and grass works. So I just heard about this Buffer Festival happening in Toronto, Canada. It's the biggest YouTube event happening in Canada. Uh, I don't know if it's something like VidCon or, it pretty much sounds like you go and uh, 
there's three th separate theaters that are showing a lot of YouTubers and their content there, and then there's an open discussion with the audience. I have no idea what it's about. I just heard about it today. I'm already going to Vlogger Fair, so I can't do both. I didn't know Canada had something too. Maybe next year we'll do... What's it called again? Buffer Festival? Buffer Festival. I think I've heard of it before, but... I haven't really looked into it. Now I just found it on Twitter. How many of you are going to Buffer Festival in Toronto? It's uh, in mid-October. I just can't go this year. No, I committed to Vlogger Fair. And the budget just doesn't allow for another event like that and plus work would get tired of me always asking for time off every two months just to go and do my youtube thing right it's not supposed to interfere with my job that much they're nice enough to let me take time off to go to vlogger fair and stuff it's only a weekend so i mean whatever what i do with my time off is my business i'm going to vlogger fair but diesel how are you enjoying this walk down this nice street right here it's a very nice street isn't it there's a girl running up to us right now. I better put the camera away, otherwise she's gonna think that I'm filming her as she walks past. <laughs> you don't want people to think we're perverts. This is what my life is. Hunting down Wi-Fi. I couldn't hook onto the Wi-Fi at the Flying J there on the other side of the city, so what did I do? I came all the way back to this side of the city to see if I can get some Wi-Fi here. I'm lucky I had time today to do this. Usually, I wouldn't have time to run around like this, but couldn't get onto the Wi-Fi at Flying J. Oh, I said, you know what? I was just gonna go sleep at the customer already. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go right there that I can get the most sleep I can, wake up in the morning, hook onto the trailer and go, right? And as I'm going around the corner, I see this Petro Pass. Here, I'll show you right out my window here. Oh, that window's dirty, I know, but it's a, it's a Petro Pass, right? So I figured, you know, I'm gonna pull in here and see what they got. They have a Wi-Fi signal here, and I hooked into it. Yes! Wi-Fi. Oh. This is what I do for you guys. <laughs> I hunt down the Wi-Fi. So, it's very slow Wi-Fi. We are at 92% because it continued from where it was last night. Last night it didn't finish, so it's finishing tonight. 25 minutes left to finish that one. And this is MLD 100 that I've got going here. I was gonna do something special for MLD 100, but I totally forgot it was number 100 until I edited it. Oh yeah, guess I didn't do anything special. So here's the special thing, it gets a shout out. I guess it's behind time. Ah, I get the second shout out, MLD 100. So that's not actually my 100th video that I've made. It's just the 100th video that I've made since I've started the series My Life Daily. But it's, before that it was called, what was it called again? I think it was just called My Truckin' Life, which is now it's, it's still the same thing, sort of. But these numbers are going the wrong way. Now it says 26 minutes. This is probably gonna take all night just to finish that one. <laughs> and I just found out that my new house that I'm moving to, that I bought, doesn't get DSL internet. No, it's so far out in the boonies, in the middle of nowhere, that nobody provides internet service there. So you know I wanted country, I got country. I made my bed, now I gotta lay in it, right? So, looks like we're gonna be getting satellite internet. Oh, contacted a couple of carriers already, I'm not really happy with what they are telling me fastest internet speed I can get is 10 megabytes per second or whatever megabits per second whatever MB B, 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 B. you guys tech guys know what I'm talking about and I'm used to having 25 at home is it megabytes per second megabytes megabits per second. whatever I'm used to having 25 at home and now I'm I'll be lucky if I get 10 and I have a limit of how much data I can use but I called my provider uh, I was with Shaw before when I was in uh, in my old place there and apparently I never really go over the limit that this new provider is gonna give me anyway so and because I have a business number I run a business and I'm a youtuber I get extra data so really I'm never gonna go over my data especially since I'm on a road all the time 
It's like a hundred gigabytes that I have at home. But I'm still looking for better options for where I am. There's one other provider I haven't gotten a hold of yet. Oh, it's always a hunt for Wi-Fi. Every day is a hunt for internet. How can anyone live without internet? I'm still happy with my purchase though. Well guys, so the hunt for Wi-Fi has completed. We are, it's still going the wrong way. Now it says 27. Where is it, where is it? 27, but we're at 93 now, so. Whatever, whatever. Okay guys, I'm not moving again. I'm going to bed now. I will talk to you tomorrow. There's a new video up for me every day, 4 a.m. Central Time. So be there. See you tomorrow.